Hey ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today I really just want to have a good old fashioned OG Oglesby Ohana YouTube video where I'm sipping coffee and I am sharing some things that I've learned throughout my homeschool journey. Grab a cup of whatever and let's chat about it. Okay, so I don't know if it's because my 31st birthday is coming up, but I've been in this very reflective state of mind. I've kind of been thinking about everything in my life, honestly, and just meditating on it and examining it. And my therapist tells me I am like an ultra examiner and that helps me sometimes and it hurts me sometimes, but with this video, <laughs> It is helping. It's going to help all of us because I've just been examining um, the, the deeper things that homeschool has taught me, the things that it has made me aware of, the things that it's brought out of me. And since I'm so reflective, I just need to get it out of my head <laughs> and share it with you guys. And maybe this will um, inspire you or encourage you or... I can just be playing while you get ready for the day and be, be your company for a moment. So the first thing that I have on this list that homeschool has taught me is that education is so much wider and deeper than we've been able to explore. Like even within the homeschool community, education and learning is this magnificent thing that has kind of been boxed in and bottled up into an education system that really serves like maybe 5% of the people here on this planet. And so understanding that is one thing like, wow, okay, education is deeper and now I get to explore this with my children, but exploring it and figuring it out is an entirely different thing, right? But just that revelation of education is so much wider, um, has been swirling in my mind and it's been challenging me to see how can I expand my children's education even more? There's so much more. There's so much more for us to learn and for us to do and for us to grab a hold of. And um, yeah, even within the homeschool community, just kind of deconstructing what education is, um, has been a huge part of what homeschool has taught me, that it doesn't have to be one way. Um, how can we challenge this status quo? And I feel like that's, you know, a huge reason why people homeschool, period. But like I said, I've just been kind of going deeper and deeper down that rabbit hole. What really is education and how can I make it come alive within my home? Another thing that my homeschool journey has taught me is that it's hard to unlearn what you've been taught, okay? It is very, very hard. Um, and not just with the education system, with everything. You know, our brain follows patterns. And unfortunately, some of those patterns were put in, most of them, when we were young. So we just do what we do. Even when we want to do better, it's still hard. So knowing that knowledge, knowing that unlearning things is extremely difficult, I've learned that I have to have faith in this journey. I have to have faith in this choice. I have to have faith in myself and in my children and know that every day we're getting closer, right? It's not like you deconstruct a system in one choice to homeschool. <laughs> you deconstruct a system every day by putting in hard work every day. And so I guess with this point, the point I'm trying to make is homeschool has taught me to have faith in myself, faith in the process, and um, to not freak out, like to really to really understand that things are a process and you're not gonna get from point A to point B in an instant. Um, so 
don't stress out in the process. Remember the bumps and the grinds and the icky parts are part of this process. And I do believe that in the end, we're gonna arrive, or maybe we never arrive, but we're going to be one step better than the last generation, right? I mean, that's the hope here. And that leads me to my third thing that homeschool has taught me, which is this is generational work. You know, the more you get into your homeschool journey, the more you realize that educating your children is just as much about uneducating yourself or re-educating yourself. We truly are doing generational work and we're, we're changing um, the direction of our family and for our children. And it's crazy. We get to be the ones who really form um, and stretch and challenge our children. And in doing so, and I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but I just feel like as I'm educating them, I really am re-educating myself and, and challenging beliefs that I've held my entire life and growing in ways that I never thought I would grow. And so it's not just about the kids. It really is this generational, this um, collective effort to pull and stretch and go deeper and wider and, and see, um, see what we can do with our little short time on earth that we, that we get. Um, how can we, how can we change the tides? How can we challenge the status quo? Um, and yeah, it, it's just, it's multi-generational work. I, I thought it would only be about the children, but it's not, it's, um, it, it's deeper. Um, the next thing that it taught me is that um, there's enough room for all the homeschool styles. Like you don't have to, I'm so, this is just a big theme in my life lately for like the past two years. I'm so sick of people putting people in boxes. You do not have to say, we're a classical family, we classical um, educate our children, period. Um, we're un like these labels and I got so caught up in them, honestly. Like, okay, so how are we gonna homeschool? Are we gonna be it like this? This is that. The truth is, is that there is enough room and space for all of it. I can be just as much as a classical educator on some days, um, just as much as I can be a free unschooler on other days. Like, you, you don't have to just fit one box. You don't have to. I mean, I guess with some curriculums you do, but yeah, I that was a big thing, like the first three years of homeschooling. Um, like, okay, but how can I, I, I didn't fit in just one box, even when I tried to only fit in one box. So there's enough room for all learning styles and don't feel like you have to commit to one. And it is more than okay to change your mind, to try everything um, until something sticks. Like, it's okay. I will never forget one comment on here. A lady was like, I just can't watch your channel because uh, this was really early on too. I was like in my second year homeschooling. She was like, I can't watch your channel because you just change everything all the time. Um, and yeah, my first two years of homeschooling, I did. And I also give my permission to change whenever I want. That's a whole different subject. <laughs> Join the womanhood. Um, but, um, yeah, like don't, you don't have to fit in a box, okay? You can be and do and teach and explore your children and with your children as much as you want. Like, yeah, th throw the rule book out the window. That's what it taught me to. Like in all of life, throw the rules out the window. Um, only you know what works for you, you know? Okay, and to wrap it all up nicely in a bow, um, I feel like the last thing it's taught me is that 
celebration and fun is absolutely necessary. You know, the theme of this like video, so to speak, is that it's hard work. It's very hard work to homeschool your children. It's one thing to decide I'm gonna homeschool my children. It's another thing to commit to that, to buck the system, to go against the grain every single damn day, okay? Um, it's hard. And, and then you have to deal with attitudes from your kids. You have to deal with ungrateful kids. You have to deal with attitudes from yourself, yourself being ungrateful. You have to deal with, we all have different circumstances. Some of us are dealing with um, special needs children. Some of us are dealing with uh, deployments where we're alone and we're doing it all alone. Some of us are dealing with, like you take a homeschool family and then you just add the other issues that families deal with, except this homeschool family is at home all day and the mom is 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 tired. And so you have, just think of any, any normal issue, whether it's like, okay, well, we have appointments today, so it's homeschooling on top of appointments. Or, wow, our marriage is really going through a rough patch, but still got a homeschool. I am pregnant and throwing up every day, but I'm still responsible for my children's education. Like, all these things, it is hard work, ladies. And something I learned the really hard way is that fun and celebration, celebrating your children, celebrating yourself, celebrating what you're doing, the hard generational work you're doing is absolutely 1000% necessary. Don't be a martyr. Don't just be like, oh, I'm homeschooling my kids and I'm over it. Trust me, I've had those moments, girl. I've had those moments, but you're doing great. And maybe if you just celebrate, all that like stress and burden will just dissipate. You can just enjoy yourself and celebrate yourself because girl, you're doing it. You're doing it. It may be really hard, but you're doing it and your kids are doing it and just Cheers to you. Celebration is so, so necessary. And I hope you add more of celebration and fun into your homeschool journey because mama, you're doing the hard work. So you might as well sprinkle it with fun, fun moments. All right, ladies, thank you so much for sitting with me in this video. Like, I don't know, I just had to get all of it out. Like I said, I'm in a very reflective state of mind. It's February. I kind of always get reflective in February. Um, it's my birthday month, but um, yeah, thanks for just listening to me babble on and on and on and on about the things homeschool has taught me. I would love to know what homeschool has taught you. Thank you so much for being part of this very reflective video of what homeschool has taught me. I would love if you click that red subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, tell all your friends about us, and we'll be back again with another video soon. Bye guys.